David Phelps, the dream. Don't wake up from this dream. Guys, we're here with David Phelps, the dream. If you like what you heard here, I will link his channel in the description below. You can find him there and show him some love. And don't leave me hanging. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Other than that, let's get it cracking, dude. The dream. Let's go. Oh, look at that tox, dude. Telling you right now, man, I've been praying for some of these encounters like this. Okay, I've heard testimonies of people, you know, meeting Jesus in a dream. And a lot of times, these dreams that we have, it's very spiritual. It's very spiritual, and you can be taken to spiritual places, right? You know, sometimes it's just, uh, it's just in our head, right? Sometimes it's in our head, but uh, sometimes God will use that as a moment to take your spirit on a journey. Take your spirit on a journey, give you a vision. Yeah, I would love to have, you know, dreams and uh, meet Jesus. I want to meet Jesus in a dream. I can wait. I can wait happily, gladly, you know, I I'm fine. I think there's something in the Word. Somebody might be able to help me with this. Uh, aren't you more blessed or whatever if uh, I, have to, I have to refresh my memory on this scripture and find it? Something about uh, believing without seeing. Having faith and believing without seeing Jesus and whatnot. Aren't you more blessed or something? My grandma saw Jesus before she passed away. Yeah, my grandpa did too. He, uh, he had emphysema. And uh, near the end of his life, uh, he was bedridden at home. Laid up in bed. Skinny as all can be. Uh, just dying, right? Dying and uh, he was asleep. And he woke up out of nowhere and he told my grandma, he was like, I'm back. I'm back. And she was like, what are you, where are you back from? What What do you mean you're back? And he was like, she was like, where'd you go? And he was like, I was with Jesus. And it was so cool. I'm glad Jesus got to my grandpa because there's some, uh, there's some false teachings and false doctrines and gospels that uh, get passed around my family. So, I am so happy that, that Jesus got to my grandpa in a dream, however he wanted to do it. And uh, I'm sure God, I'm sure Jesus corrected some things and uh, opened his eyes to truth, right? I'm sure he opened his eyes to truth. I'm Lutheran. I don't know what that means, brother. I'm Christian. I'm a little Christ-like one. Jesus did not intend for people to be divided. Lutheran, Pentecostal, Baptist, that's not what Jesus intended, brother. You can call yourself Lutheran all you want. I'm a Christian. Little Christ-like one. I'm trying to be like Christ. That's the most important thing. I love Jesus. Anyways, yeah, I'm so happy, Jesus. I know we're supposed to do this reaction. I hope, I hope the future viewers are okay with this. You know, it has to do with God, okay? It's about Jesus, and I love sharing these things. So I hope it brings you joy like it brings me joy. That's the purpose, okay? I love you. But yeah, lots of false teachings and false gospels and doctrines passed around my family. It's what, it's what kept me in my sins my whole life. Not really. I, actually, I can't, I can't put the blame on that because although I heard these, these, these false teachings, you know, just uh, easy faith, easy belief without, without changing your life, uh, something in my spirit told me that they were wrong. You know what I'm saying? Something in my spirit. It was God. He was like, no, what you're hearing is wrong. It's not that easy. It's not that easy, Brandon. It's not just about believing. You can just live however you want. It's not about that, Brandon. 
There's more to it. Something always told me that inside. Like, this sounds too easy. Or else everybody would be like, oh, I, I believe. Oh, I believe in Jesus. He did it for me so I don't have to do nothing. No, that's wrong. That is dead wrong. Dead wrong. Satan and his demons believe in Jesus. They know him personally. That didn't save him, did it? It's not just about believing. There's more to it than that. But yeah, I'm glad Jesus got to my grandpa before he passed. I'm sure he straightened some things out. Because yeah, there is a lot of wickedness, false teachings being spread within my family, and they're still believing it today. And I'm trying my best to be an example. That's all I can do, man. I, I just got to trust God that he'll open their eyes and reveal the truth to them. I got to be the example. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I want to have a dream about Jesus. I want to meet him. But I was like, I was like, Lord, I can wait, though. It's cool. I can wait. Did anybody know what scripture I mentioned? Nobody heard me. I thought many would be on top of it. That's okay. All right, let's finish this. Sorry, y'all. That, as simple as that. Let's go. Ooh. This is awesome. this one I'll get to you after the reaction mutant I have an incredible answer for you brother Yeah, you better praise him. You gonna praise him today, brother? Ooh. I like the way this song creeps up in certain parts.
Sheesh! That is so beautiful. I'm not seeing enough hype in the chat, man. Wow. Y'all not feeling it? Man. Dude, I'm gonna have to throw that in a playlist. Gosh. Man, I've got a Christian playlist going on my, uh, going on, uh, yeah, on my phone. <laughs> I was in trance, says Junior. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of, uh, hypnotizing, huh? I'm gonna have to throw this in the rotation. A lot of David Phelps songs, man. David Phelps, yeah, he is divine, man. Hold on, Minnie. Let me look that up. First Peter 1 Peter 1.8. See if this is the scripture I was thinking of. Let me go back a couple of verses. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials, so that the proof of your faith, being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and high honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, obtaining as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. Okay, is that what it was? I thought there was another one. That's similar. But I thought there was something along the lines of, blessed are those who believe without seeing. Hold on. Let me do this. Blessed are those who believe without seeing. Where is it? What is it? Is it John twenty twenty nine? Oh, I'm just now getting into the book. I finished uh, Luke. I finished Luke this morning. I finished Luke, and now I'm moving into John. This will be my third time going through the New Testament. Sharpening my tools. I'm sharpening my sword. All right, hold on. Blessed are those who believe without seeing is a statement that Jesus made to Thomas, one of his disciples who doubted his resurrection. Jesus said that those who have seen him and believed are blessed. But more blessed are those who have not seen him and yet have believed. Yes, that's what I was trying to, yeah. Yeah, John twenty twenty nine, guys. That's what I was thinking of, Minnie. But I like the one you mentioned, First Peter 1, 8. I like that one too. But yeah, this is the scripture. Yeah, blessed are those who believe without seeing, right? And so, yeah, I was basically saying, you know, I'm fine not meeting him in a vision or a dream. You know, I'm cool. I can wait. I can wait when the time is right, right? Because blessed are those who, who, who have not seen him and yet still believe, you know, and still have faith in him. Because uh, although I haven't seen him in a vision or, or, uh, or physically, you know, uh, he's already done revealed himself to me spiritually. So many ironic, so many ironic and, and like, situations and experiences prayers being answered uh you know uh asking god to set something up that would seem impossible for god to set up but then it happens he makes a way anyway kind of like parting the sea there was no way but god always makes a way and uh and a lot of things plus the the life transformation that's happening within me because i believe because of my belief, and, uh, and because I'm obeying Jesus and listening to his commands and applying his teachings to myself, I'm actually witnessing the, the spirit manifest within me and, and without, from the inside out. Like, uh, yeah, it's so real. It's so real. And plus, we, we, already have, we already have physical evidence and historical evidence of Jesus' existence here on earth, right? And, uh, and the historical accounts, the testimonies. You know, we have all this other stuff. And, and so, yeah, how could you not believe? How could you not believe? And, uh, you know, we got this eclipse happening on April 8th. You know, there's so many signs. So many signs. It's a, it's a, it's a frenzy. It's a whirlwind of signs all around us. Yes, he's real. Yes, I believe in him. No, I've never seen him. 
never seen him in person. Well, I know how blessed I am to believe without seeing him. I see his spirit. I can see his spirit move. I see it in the spirit. And it's amazing. So good. Let's read a couple comments here. Outside of David Phelps' ministry, his vocals alone are beautifully structured. This man is a true tenor with a classical style added. That's awesome. We live in a world where everyone knows Justin Bieber, and hardly anyone has ever heard of David Phelps. It's a real pity. Yeah, that's just how it goes, right? Hold on, Mutant. We're still, we're still, uh, let me finish this video real quick. There will never be a singer who can surpass the talent of David Phelps. In a dream, I was transported by the Spirit to the heavenly throne. There stood I before the Eternal. Lord, I begged, what is your name? He said, I am. Let's go. David could sing the phone book, and it would be outstanding. He has a God-given gift. I could listen to him all. I could listen to him sing 24-7. Me too, dude. Yeah, best male singer in the world right now. Uh, the pure beauty of this performance made me weep with joy. Thank you, David Phelps. I watch this video at least once a day, every day. My socks have <laughs> officially been blown off. They've been blown off it. All right? You got to speak in King James. My socks haveth officially been blowineth offeth. There you go. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Am I listening to this song for the first time today? I was so moved that I wept like a baby. Praise the name of our God. Yeah, I'm going to have to listen to this one again after the stream. I want to hear that again. Guys, that was David Phelps' The Dream. I know I talked a lot during this reaction, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the things I talked about. Some people will complain. Some people will hit dislike on the video, but I don't care. I like the video. God likes the video. That's all that matters. Uh, if you like what you heard here, I'll link David's channel in the description below. You can find him there. and Show me some love. Don't leave me hanging. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, alright? I'll see you in the next one.